There we go, second five done, 520. That might come back to bite me. So welcome back to another London Marathon training series video where we are just 11 days away from London. So I've got a busy couple of weeks coming up and excited to share the schedule at the end after you've seen the workout. Right now we're in the penultimate week of London Marathon training. This week's workout was a slightly shorter one, something I'm a bit more used to, uh, obviously pre-marathon training. So it was nice to get out there, do something a little bit shorter and do something a little bit faster. So here we go. We're about 10 days out now, 11, 10, somewhere around there. And the uh, forecast is meant to be 16, 17 degrees on race day, I think, at the moment. So it's always good on your last session to be able to replicate that weather. So just saving the warm up there, 15 minutes done as per usual, um, just covering under two miles. So yeah, weather today is not spectacular. Problem is I'm overheating in the jacket. The gloves is just because there's a bit of a biting wind and it's raining, but the jacket, it's making me overheat a little bit, but I'm thinking to myself, is that a bad thing leading into London when it's gonna be 16, 17 degrees? Um, so I might just stick with it, see how it goes for the first couple of reps. So let's go through what we have today. We have four sets of five minutes off of 90 seconds and then two by one minute off of 60 seconds. So effectively, five, one, one, five, one, one, five, one, one, five, one, one. What I'd love to be able to do, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, is start this end, do five out that way, spin as soon as it's done, do the 90 jog back this way, and then do the ones all the way back this way and get back to the starting point. But the reality is I don't think that I'm going to be able to get back to this point. So it's kind of going to be a bit of a zigzag today. I might might get away with a couple of reps, um, but then after that, I might have to start it from the other end. So we'll just see how we go today. So that's the plan. So the shoes, why are you wearing super shoes today? I hear you ask, because if you've been following the last few episodes, you know, I've been avoiding super shoes and just using the Brooks Hyperion Max at all costs. Well, the simple reason is the last time I wore super shoes was back on the 16 miles at marathon pace and my Achilles flared up. My Achilles is now absolutely fine and I've had no issues with that for a couple of weeks. I am a bit nervous to slip super shoes on next weekend for 26.2 miles. It'll be the Saucony Endorphin Elites. So I'm kind of using this as a little tester uh, to see if that holds up okay so that's the reason for that and finally as always I want to say a massive thanks to say sky for sponsoring this week's video let me move here and here fod 15 gets you guys 15% discount on all say sky items as you've been seeing for the last 10 weeks I think they picked up the last 10 weeks of the series I've been wearing their kit and I was wearing it before and I've worn it in plenty of other times and today I'm wearing their very light rain jacket uh, their flow t-shirt underneath the combat shorts as I always am and by the way I've heard so many stories of you guys picking these up ready for marathon day it's a really good option you've got the pockets in the side you're not going to need a belt it, they're absolutely fantastic and then i've just got their standard socks on today and yeah, I just want to say a massive thanks to their support. Their range of clothing is great. I've been going through so much of it over the last 10 weeks and hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. So once again, Stace Guy, a massive thanks for supporting this week's video. And with all that out of the way, it's all set up on the watch. Here's the start line in the tarmac that I like to use right here. So this is where we're going to start. So get this one underway. I'm really dreading it. <laughs> There we go, 5.38 for that first rep. Spinning now, two ones, back this way. There we go, that's the first set done. Those first two ones were in the fours, high fours. So very happy with that. Um, I'm nearly back to where I started. But I haven't got time to get there. I'm gonna go up to the college and spin and come back for the next five. There we go, second five done. 520. That might come back to bite me. Um, the first one's always a bit of a warm up, but uh, that is a bit of a big jump. Felt all right, but 
Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> So we go low fives on those two, and that is halfway. It's quite busy at this time of the morning. It is, it's coming up to half past nine. So I'm doing a lot of uh, pavement jumping right now. There we go. Third five rep done. Um, 519, 520 again. I'll take it. I will take it. There we go, the next two ones done, high fours. Very happy with this so far. Got one more set to do. So uh, let's see if we can finish this one well. There we go, last five minutes done, 5.22. Just two one minutes to go. Did it, did it, happy with that. That last rep was quite fast. I just kind of pushed a little bit harder than I had in the in the main set. So that was nice to finish a bit stronger. All very controlled, all very good. Really happy with that. So there we go. Not sure what I was worried about there at the start. Couldn't have gone better if I'm honest. And it is still quite windy, um, but not quite as bad as it has been. And in all honesty, I felt really strong in the legs today. Felt like they could power through the wind, so that was really nice. Um, obviously, super shoes helped. Absolutely no Achilles issues. So that puts that worry to bed for next weekend. And uh, yeah, I can just go back now and I've noticed some good heart rate drops again this week on my easy and moderate run on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, to have, have this session today as it is, is very pleasing. I just noticed then when I saved the activity that my average heart rate was 164, which is for the session, which is pretty standard to be honest from when I was at my fittest. Uh, a lot of these speedier sessions were in and around that area, whereas in the last few weeks they've been 167, 168. So it's again slow progress, but nice to see some progress. Time for the cool down and uh, see you back at the office. So there we go. A little bit too little, too late? I think so. It's nice to be coming into some kind of form again, but of course we are a little bit too close to London for me to really capitalise on it. But the reality is if I cast my mind back to the weeks gone by and think about sort of getting back to this situation, it's something that I've been longing for uh, for ages. It's been so frustrating. And obviously things are still a little bit high in terms of heart rate and things, but it's minimal now. I feel like I'm slowly getting back to where I was, which is just a wonderful feeling. And honestly, that workout couldn't have gone better. You know, sometimes it's been really windy over the last few weeks and you just get that odd workout. I've had two now where you just can power through the wind and the wind is suddenly irrelevant. Every other time it plays on your mind, it affects everything. But for whatever reason, this time I just felt like I had strong legs and it just didn't even bother me. So it was really nice A to clock those paces and B to be able to feel as strong as I did. So fingers crossed, we're definitely out the other side now. But as I said, I do think it's a little bit too late uh, when it comes to London. Now, when it comes to a video schedule, it is changing slightly over the final few uh, few days before London. So you'll see this one on the Saturday. I'm getting my long run done on the Friday, which is tomorrow. It's a short long run when I'm recording this. Uh, and then on Saturday, I've got a 5K race uh, down at Bristol Track Club, which is something that I booked in for ages ago. And it's something last time in the training block when I was doing Newport, Coach Will wanted me to jump into some something short and fast uh, seven days out. So it was eight days out. I was booked into it last year, but I was just carrying a minor niggle, which I didn't want to uh, exacerbate with doing speed work. Uh, this week, I feel good. So I'm going to be heading on down there and just giving a 5k a go, put a line in the sand and see how that goes. So then you'll see that video early next week. So things have shifted a little bit. It's a busy next few days and I'm excited. I can't wait to share it all with you. So yes, you're going to be seeing this one, then a long run video 
and then the 5k race. And as always, just run through a few thank yous. X Miles for being there for me for so long. They're offering all your nutrition needs, your one-stop nutrition shop, 10% discount using the discount uh, below for first-time users. So obviously, if you've already used your email address, register with another one and you can pick up that discount code. HVMN, they're offering 30% off a monthly subscription, which you guys can cancel as soon as you've subscribed. Uh, so you just get the one box to test it out. It's something that I have been blown away with since testing it for the last six weeks and it's something I'm going to be diving into more of uh, during the summer when it comes to the speed training. So again, use that link in the description and that will get you guys 30% off. Pure Sport for their Muscle Balm and Freeze Roll. Those are the two products that I absolutely swear by. There's a link in the description for that as well. I use the freeze roll before every single run and I use the muscle balm after workouts and after long runs. Noble Pro, your treadmill specialist, they're offering you guys a 4% discount if you use the link in the description below. They now have a new model which launched last month, I think it was, or the month before, the E10i. Bigger screen, bigger base, better treadmill, very exciting stuff and it's wonderful to have their support as well. So do check them out if you're in the market for a treadmill. And finally, Body Light Gear, your reflective gear specialist again there's a 10 percent discount in the description uh, for for their kit and of course a massive thanks to all of these companies for supporting me so there we go we'll leave it there for today really appreciate your support on this one and just delighted to be back in some kind of shape excited now for the summer really can't wait to get to london enjoy myself and then kick on into may june and july it should be a good summer and i can't wait to see a lot of you at london i am organizing a shakeout run it's probably going to be in battersea park around 9 30 i'll get the final details out that'll be on Saturday morning before London. I'll share more of that as soon as I can on my social media and of course on YouTube when I get those details sorted. So let's leave it there guys. Appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it please do give it a like, share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and I'll see you on the next one.